If this video seems a little bit slanted, uh, soz, that's cause it is, it definitely is. This entire building is on a slant. Hey, what's Nemo, and I'm here at work because finding a spare room in a flat of five guys is really difficult to bring you a new video, a lovely little update where it's gonna do a bit of story time today. And I'm sure you can tell by the title exactly what we're gonna talk about. So, I think I'll just, I think I'll just do it. I'll just start. That was the intro dance. You're so welcome. Um, the story starts, I was waking up for work, waking up for rehearsals at around 7 a.m., which I normally do. The alarm goes off and I hate everything. I climb down the ladder from my top bunk because apparently I'm still eight years old, uh, but I do share a room with five guys, so am I eight or am I just really poor? Who knows? Then I go to the bathroom, I do, do my morning pee, and then I wash my face a little bit. What, is the, what am I doing my morning routine for? What the fuck? I get ready. If you want more fucking detail, eat some bloody Weetabix. Oh my god, it's got honey on it. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you want me to do a My Morning Routine video. <laughs> anyway, so I was, um, I woke up in the morning and uh, I was feeling a little bit terrible. So I, uh, I didn't just do a morning pee, I did a morning shit. And then I did a morning vomit and I was like, well, that's not normal. So I was doing that and that felt just absolutely amazing, obviously. And uh, I decided I'm gonna go into work anyway because we learn so much in one day that if I miss a single day, it's gonna take like six years to catch up. And I don't wanna deal with that. So I came into work, uh, the taxi ride was a trial. It was a pure test. It was a challenge, but I made it. I was all good. I did vomit in the taxi, but in a bag. Um, but other than that, I made it intact. Fantastic. I arrived at work and I was mostly watching because I kind of had to run to the bathroom every five minutes anyway, so there wasn't really any point in participating. So that was happening and I thought it would stop, but it didn't. Anyway, during my 150th trip to the toilet, possibly no exaggeration there, uh, I didn't quite make it, really. Um, but uh, I guess you saw that coming, didn't you? And I cleaned myself up as best I could. Uh, and then I, I, I took off the soiled garments and I put them in a plastic bag and I, I sat them under the sink. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna stay here, that's for sure, I've just shat myself. I think I'll go home, thank you very much. So I had to go tell uh, the assistant choreographer. I came up behind her and uh, I said, excuse me, this is gonna sound a bit weird, but I've soiled myself. <laughs> anyway, a, a short, uh, awkward interaction later, and we decided that yes, I should go home. But first, I should dispose of that uh, which I have created. So I went into the bathroom and retrieved my shitty underwear, uh, and then proceeded outside, because I wasn't gonna put it in an inside bin. I'm, I'm not a dickhead. But then realized, for some reason in the UK, bins just don't exist outside at all. Uh, in the end, I couldn't find a bin. So, what did I do? I, I put him in my bag and just got a taxi home with shitty underwear in my bag. And then had about a hundred showers, uh, pooped and vomited a few more times because that's just how I roll and uh, pretty much binge watched RuPaul's Drag Race. So overall it wasn't that bad a day really. I'm not really sure why I decided to share that story on the internet. I just did. I hope you enjoyed it because everybody poops I bet you've probably shat yourself, maybe. If so, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you really feel like sharing it with the internet. If not, then that's absolutely understandable. Keep your self-respect. I'm sure it feels great. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, poof.